tonight. I haven't seen these for years. Jane, my sister, went away to work, you see, and we used to write to each other every week without fail. But where's this port Nant? Well, Nant Squithire, and you've heard of Nant Squithire, haven't you? Of course. That's where the Welsh language centre is today. I didn't know that you lived there. Oh, yes, I did. But it's over 60 years ago by now. I'm sure it's changed a lot, you know. You should get down there and see. Oh, it was hard enough to go up and down the Nant when I was young and nimble. And look at me now. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, let's sit here now. Yes. Oh, isn't it lovely? To my dearest Jane, how are you? Have you any news from Aberystwyth? Is your master treating you as he should? It would be worth you coming home just to see the colour of the flowers in the man's gardens. Day is so proud of his vegetable patch. He grows potatoes, sweet, carrots and turnips and he reminds us every mealtime. <gasps> Nine Seaview! This is where our family lived. Oh. But are they called Tremaminid and Tremamore? Oh, maybe so, but they were called Seaview and Mountain View then. And the quarrymen from Parthenant used to live in all the little houses oh, and they kept them so nice and tidy, all with their little gardens. Oh. At the end of the month, Elizabeth Cannell is going to work as a maid in Glynllyfon near Carnarvon. It will be very strange in the Nant without her. And the big shock is that Harriet, Dick Minor's daughter, left school last week. She has just turned 13 years old, but she will be working the co-op store from now on. Bayview. This is where the co-op was. The quarry owner owned this. And my mother used to send me here with a list to buy groceries every week. Oh, and there's the chapel, look. Capel Sailor. Did you go there often, I? Oh, three times every Sunday, my girl. Oh. Three times every Sunday. At the Easter Sunday service last week, Samuel Murphy started singing a little off-key and most of us children were struggling to keep a straight face. We still have no organ, so we took two whole verses for the congregation to correct itself. As this is the farmer's busiest time of year, Miss Robert has let us have a day of school to help. Half of us went to the Canal Farm and the other half went up to Tichav. I helped Mrs Hill to prepare tea for the workers while Evan had to collect the sheep ready for the shearers. He said that he had never worked as hard in his life. But these letters, how do they get out of the Nant? Well, how do you think? The postman, of course, he used to come here all the way from Pukeli on his bike. And down the scree on a bike? No, no. He used to leave his bike at the top and then he used to walk down. And do you know he spent the rest of the day going from house to house, having a cup of tea and keeping up the local gossip. But he made sure he was up at the top so that he'd ride his bike to Pukeli to catch the three o'clock mail train. So... Was Grandad a quarry man? Oh yes, your granddad and your great granddad. And the quarry is in your blood as well. Don't you forget it, my dear. <laughs> Our brother John has just started working in Nant's quarry. He's in his element working alongside Hugh Evans and Albert Hind on Bank, Buenos Aires. What's a bank, Ryan? 
of Bank or Gallery was a name given to every part of rock where the carrymen worked. There was Bonkisa, Bonkicha, Bonksirvon. John says that during their lunch in the Kapan, they have discussions and debates about all kinds of topics from politics to the scriptures and from folk tales to the weekly wage packet. Some men recite poetry and others may even burst into song. It was a cool place to have lunch. Oh, it was very cool. The quarrymen were very hard working, you know, but also very cultured. It must have been a dangerous job, though, to work on the rock. Mm. Everyone is in a shock this week. The Irishman Dick Bomb had an accident at Cairnant Quarry on Tuesday. While working on Bonkichab, one of the explosives blew up in his face. He fell down from a great height into the sea and disappeared within second. Dad saw the accident happen and he didn't speak a word to anyone for the rest of the day. Why wasn't he buried here? Oh, nobody was buried in the Nantes. Wasn't there a doctor to help? No, no. All the families helped each other, like one big family. Elsie's view's father is still laid up in bed with pneumonia. The night before last, Dad volunteered to run up the screw to get a doctor. He was dripping with sweat by the time he got home. It's not looking good for poor Mr. Hughes. Did the shafts come to the net? Oh, every day when the quarry was at its peak. We had to race down to the jetty today to see the ship coming in with fresh supplies. The name of the ship was Calfen, and Dad said that she was going to take a load of granite back to Liverpool. We watched as men carried bags of coal to their houses, and before leaving, they gave us a bag of chocolate to share. What a treat! Do you miss the place, Nine? Oh, yes, I do. Life was hard, but there's nowhere like the Nant. You see, Sarah, Nant with her is more than a language centre to me. These stories should never be forgotten. Come on, we can have another cup of tea and make a day of it like the post Monday. Oh, why not? An amor, a mal perscotten. A car a trail through the nan moven, an or skull my discreedy eye, carving hall on vach my hurry.